Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can do a cinemagraph effect in Blender. The cinemagraph effect is basically when you have a video or a sequence of images and you have movement in the video, how to make part of what you see in the video move and part of it to remain still, basically freezing the frame but some part of it to have movement, some part of it to be playing. And Blender is a 3D animation software, it's free open source program, but it also has a very powerful video editor. So if you're looking for a video editor, a free one, you can just use Blender for that. And when you open Blender, you have the default screen here to change it to video editing. Just click on this option and choose this one. And first let's go ahead and open the video on which we will apply the effect. Go over here to add, select movie, then go ahead and find the file on your computer. Mine is on the desktop, I'll use this video. Just select it and click add movie strip. And the video will be added here. By turning the mouse wheel forward and backward you can zoom in and out. So let's zoom in on this video. Down here we have the strip with the video file. Again with turning the mouse wheel I can zoom out so I can see the entire strip. And uh, it's selected by default but if it's not you can just right click on it to select it. And you can see the length here of this movie strip. I'm going to click here, mark this and then control C to copy it. And down here I want to send uh, the end of our playback range of the sequence here to the length of the video file. So I'll just click here, make sure this is selected and control V to copy the number of the frames here. Let's quickly see what this video is. I'm going to click the play button here. You can see we have movement, cars going in each direction. Let's stop this and go back to the beginning. And what I want to do with this video is to make this part over here freeze to remain still and the rest of it to be playing. So let's get started. Over here we have a graph editor which we don't need but we need something else and in order to change it we're going to click here and choose the UV image editor. Once we have this selected go to view and choose mask. And here click on new and we can uh, type the name of the mask. Just let's type test, click enter to apply it. And next I want to add this uh, video over here as well. So click on open, go to my desktop again and choose the video. Just click on open image, zoom out a little bit. Then we go to the view option, choose properties and scroll down here and click on this option and also choose this option always refresh image on frame changes this will ensure that both videos will play in sync let's go ahead to view again and remove the properties window if I go ahead over here use the left mouse button and just drag you can see that both videos are playing together Let's use this option to go to the beginning. To make a selection and create our mask, you just mouse over, hold down the control key and click to create this initial point. Then again, holding down the control key, just click to create another point. And uh, then you can just grab a point and move it if you want to adjust the selection so once I'm ready with the selection of our mask I'll go ahead and add an adjustment layer go to the add menu choose effect strip and the option adjustment layer then make sure this is selected and change the length to 300 again also scroll down here, click on this option and choose mask, scroll down again, select the mask option, click over here, 
and choose our task mask. So now we have uh, the part of the video that is going to be playing, but to add the still frame of the video, of the rest of the video which will be uh, still and not moving, I'll go ahead and add the movie file one more time from the add option, movie, select it, click add movie strip. Now I'll click the right arrow key just one more time to move to the next frame. Then go ahead and hold the shift key and click the K key. This will create a hard cut. You can also do this from the strip menu, cut hard at frame. You can see the keyboard shortcut. Once I have done this, make sure this uh, part is selected, delete key, then enter key to erase it. Then I'll go ahead and select this piece over here and change the length to 300 and also the blend to alpha under and now let's go ahead and play our movie see what we have you can see here this is moving and this remains still you see that it's nothing difficult to this effect there's actually a lot more to it. You can, for example, make the mask track a certain object. Uh, just for example, uh, you can make the video play, all the cars moving and at what time they stop and just one car to continue moving. You can do this, but in that case, things uh, can get a bit more complicated. Depending on the video, you may not get always very good results. I'll probably make another tutorial about it. But that's it for this one and I hope it was useful, if it was, like it, leave me a comment, if you're new to my tutorials, subscribe, visit my channel for more, if you want to support me and make a donation, you can do that on pledge.com, link is in the description, also on Konos, where you can get some cool rewards, link is also in the description of this video, so that's it for this one, bye.